Minecraft, but I can only build with the color red. Let's go see what our build options will be. We're gonna be spinning a wheel for plot size, rooms, what rooms, amount of floors, and style. What do you think we're gonna get this time? 10 by 15? That's literally the smallest option. Oh no, I'm scared. How many rooms am I gonna have to fit in that space? Please don't be 10. This is literally so small. Seven. Okay. I mean, yay, seven. <laughs> it's not 10, but it's still a really big number. <sighs> okay, let's find out what each room will be. Room number one is a closet. <laughs> room number two is a kitchen. Room number three is a dining room. For room number four, we're gonna get a music room. Room number five is a bathroom. Number six is a bedroom. And room number seven is a pet room. But okay, it is now time for the floor spin. If I get five, I'm gonna cry. Please be nice to me. Three, I guess that could work. But finally, what's the style gonna be? Basic. Okay, today we're building a basic house with three floors and seven rooms and a 10 by 15 plot. Our basic house is complete. It looks so cute. It's also very blocky and blocky is basic, so it works. Now, if we fly around, you'll see the outside of the house. This is what it looks like. It is very red. <laughs> but now let me show you the inside. As we enter on the left, this first area is gonna be for a kitchen. Over here, we're gonna have a dining room. And then I made a basement because I didn't wanna make the house like super tall. So if we go down the stairs this way, this is gonna be a pet room. And then down this uh, really weird and awkward hallway, <laughs> we're gonna have a bathroom. Now, since this plot is so small, I couldn't really fit another set of stairs in here to go upstairs without it taking up too much space. So instead of another set of stairs, we have a ladder. It may not be the most practical way of getting around your house, but you know what? It works. So as we go up this ladder, the first area is gonna be for the bedroom right here. Over here, we're gonna have the music room and this little space is gonna be for a closet. Well, now that you know the layout of this place, it's time to start decorating. I think I wanna start on this middle floor, then we can decorate the basement and then we can decorate the upstairs. Starting with the kitchen, I actually wanna add a few more blocks so that everything is a bit more symmetrical. It also helps divide the space a little bit so that the kitchen doesn't just flow all the way into the dining room. But in the kitchen, we can add a couple of these drawers over here. I actually want this one to be a sink. And then this cupboard could be the fridge in the corner. Above this, we can add some wall cabinets and to bring in some more light, I would like to punch out these blocks and add a few more windows. To help fill out this empty space, I think it would be nice if we had some shelves above the cabinets. And then in front of this area, we can add an island. At the island, we obviously need to have some bar stools to sit on. Hello. <laughs> and then on top of the counter, we can use these red pillows as red plates. And we can display a bowl of red apples, like all my other houses. Above the island, I want to add some posts hanging from the ceiling so that we can display our lanterns. I love these lights, which I, I think, I think you know. <laughs> <laughs> because I use them all the time. But anyway, I wanna add a bit of carpet right in front as you first enter the house. I also wanna put some over here by the sink. And then to add a little bit more red to the kitchen, we can have some berries over here and some spices over here. Now I know that not all of those spices are red, but uh, at least one of them is, so it's fine. Now because the wheel didn't give us a living room or a library, I'm putting bookshelves in the dining room. I figured since we have like this area by the window and like this little area. Actually, wait, that should also be a window. One second. Since we have these two little areas, I was thinking that we can just kind of decorate the space with some fun little things and some bookshelves and then have a dining table in the middle. So on this side, we can have a bunch of these red counters. On this side, we can have a bunch of these red counters. And then we could just surround the entire area with bookshelves. Now, in the middle of this area, we'll place a small table. We'll surround it by some of these red sofas, even though I... 
Yes, I could be using red chairs, but I like the contrast of this darker red against the lighter red, so we're using sofas. On the table itself though, we can add a few more of these pretend red plates. And then above the table, you guessed it, more lanterns. Ta-da! Now that we've got the dining table figured out, it's time to decorate the bookshelves. As we make our way down to this lower level, I was actually thinking that this wall looks a little bit plain. So, we could dress up these windows with some red banner curtains. Now as you know, this room right here is gonna be the pet room. And because our color is red, can you guess what our pet will be? The first thing we have to do is get rid of this floor and replace it with mushroom blocks. Now that we have this, we can just plop down a bunch of mushrooms everywhere. We could put some mushrooms inside flower pots. We could put a bit of carpet on the ground. Some food bowls over here. A couple of red beds in the middle of the space. A squishy red creeper plushie. And finally, our moose room. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is! You are my little mushroom friend. And I love you. Do you like your new room? Yeah, is that a yes? He loves it. But okay, you stay here and I'm gonna go decorate the bathroom. For this bathroom, I actually wanna make another shower like I did in the orange house. So we could do that by adding a bunch of glass panes just like this. And then to separate the space a little bit, we can add some fun tiles. Now all we need is a red button for a shower head and the shower is complete. Next to the shower, we'll use an upside down stair and a trap door for our toilet. Mm -hmm. And then over on this part of the wall, we can add some counters, a sink, and a mirror. On the floor by the sink, we can add a bit of carpet and then we can also add some carpet by the shower too. And then on the counter, we'll pretend that the red pillows are towels this time. And the button over here is gonna be soap. Oh, hi. What? Well, what's it? Uh, moving on upstairs. We've got a bedroom to decorate. I don't know why, but I love this room. Honestly, actually, it's probably because of the skylights. I love skylights. But anyway, for this space, I thought it'd be perfect to center the bed with the windows. So we can have a little headboard back here with a couple of end tables on either side so we could have some lamps. On the back of this bed, we can add a bunch of flower pots to display some red tulips. Then in the middle, we'll have our bed. We'll surround it by some slabs. And then we can add some cozy pillows and carpets on the floor. Since there isn't really uh, much space for anything else in here, I decided that over here, we could have some item frames. And inside of each one, we can add some stairs, which you might be asking why. And well, if we rotate them all the way around, they look like hearts. Now, because I don't really have anything for a music room besides a note block and a jukebox and these two red music discs, we're gonna have to get creative with the Chisel and Bits mod. <laughs> I made stuff! First, let me display the stuff that I didn't have to make. So we have some note blocks, a jukebox, and then we could add some item frames on the wall with our music discs. Now, I know that these are not exactly red, so like I've been doing throughout this series, we're gonna cover it up with some red trapdoors. Now, don't make fun of me. These instruments aren't the most detailed things I've ever made in my life, <gasps> but look, we have a red guitar, a little red pan flute, a triangle, and a piano. Ta-da! Actually, the piano is pretty impressive. I'm proud of myself for that one. This one is cute. This triangle, however, is questionable. <laughs> and the guitar is only two blocks thick because I just, I didn't really know what I was doing. But anyway, let's put another guitar over here, one over here, one over here, and maybe we can add another triangle over here. This is actually so cool, but I kind of want to know what these sound like. I actually don't know. Hold on, hello, can I have this? All right, I'm in creative mode. It just disappeared. <laughs> One second. What does this sound like? Oh, <gasps> this is cute. Okay, what's this one? <gasps> oh, I love this one. Okay, that's not how it goes, but you know. <laughs> Our final room to decorate for today is, well, 
the smallest one in the house, and that's because it's a closet. I know it's probably uh, kind of weird that I have a closet to the bedroom on the other side of a music room. Like, I, I understand it's kind of awkward, but I couldn't really put it anywhere else, so this is just the way that it is. Because this space is so small, I'm obviously gonna keep it really simple, and we're just gonna put some drawers along the bottom like this, and then on top, we can add this cool wardrobe with some shelves on the side. On the floor over here, we can add a bit of carpet to make the space feel a bit more cozy. And then I wanna add an armor stand. Cute! Now that the rooms are all done, let's go on a tour. What the heck? So here's the outside of the house. And as we go inside, the first room we'll see is the kitchen with all of our red food, our red lights and red cabinets. Next to that, we have our red dining room with our table and chairs. As we go downstairs, we'll find our moose room's room. And then if we go past the moose room's bedroom, we'll find the bathroom. On the top floor of the house, we have our red bedroom with our red bed, of course. Some red flowers, lamps, carpets, pillows, and heart pictures. Then over here, we have our music room with our custom-made piano, pan flutes, triangles, and guitars. And then last, we have the closet. What do you think? Do you like the red house? I think my favorite rooms are the music room and the mushroom room. But what are your favorites? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe.